Uh, the good news is a toy designer can present in one minute, so three minutes is a lot. <laughs> um, the bad news is I may um, single-handedly end crowdsourcing forever. Uh, <laughs> But here I go, and fortunately I have a little prop here. We, we always um, present with props. So this is Zambi, the baby elephant, in stores now. Um, <laughs> um, Melissa actually found me. I, don't, I did not volunteer for this. She found me, and I said yes, and the reason I did say yes was because I wanted to show you Zambi and share Zambi and my story, my origin story about Zambi. Okay, so I'll just show you his features. You pet him. It's in try me mode right now. He has a lot more features, but. And then the best part. <laughs> okay, so um, Project Zambia is a lot bigger than this little elephant. And I'm going to tell you the origin story. And the origin story, um, you may be surprised, but um, Hasbro does a lot of things with children around, globally and around the world. And we're so busy doing our own thing that even internally, we, we sometimes don't know about that. So. I was at work one day, and I passed my friend's cube. Um, her name is Karen Davis. Some of you may know her. She's the head of charitable trust at Hasbro, which is in charge of giving away money, helping kids. Um, I hope she won't mind, but I think she's a combination of a um, Mother Teresa and a pit bull. And um, <laughs> she's an amazing person. And she said, Gina, um, come into my office. I want to show you some photographs. And I said, OK, I think it's going to be her kids at Disney World or something. And I see these photographs. Striking, striking, amazingly beautiful children. She said, I just got back from Zambia. You know, we're, we're helping the kids there. I said, no. She goes, yeah, um, by 2010, and this was in um, 2007, by the way, two years ago. And by 2010, there's going to be 15 million AIDS orphans. And I said, I, I thought I missed her. I said, 15 million? She said, yeah, 15 million. And it really was the pictures that got to me, the image that was JPEGs burned into my hard drive forever and ever. And she said, and here are the women who take care of them, these um, widows who take care of these children. They're called the chicken buso. Chicken buso means, in Yenge, a Zambian dialect, it means um, um, remembering what has been done for you so you can do it for others. In other words, pay it forward. That was big in 2007, pay it forward. So I said, wow, that's so trendy. So, um, but these women were really on to it. And, I, and at the time, and you're not, you really are not going to believe this, or you will, I had been diagnosed with uh, metastatic breast cancer. And um, I was in a really dark place, a pity party for myself. And um, I looked at these women and said, well, you know, whatever happens to me, I have had an awesome life. Walked away from that thinking, I have to help them. And debating whether or not I should stay out of work for my treatment, I thought about those women, and I said, no. And mostly I thought about daytime TV, and I said, no, I'm going to stay at work. <laughs> <laughs> really going to stay at work for this. So, um, and, and this passionate proj project really gave me the energy. And certainly, I was not the only one. I was a fire starter here. There's so many people. You see this one product, but there's a huge project and so many people involved. People saw that passion. Um, we had a crowdsourcing event at Hasbro, an innovation crowdsourcing internally at Hasbro. Wonderful. Um, we had accountants. We had mostly not designers and engineers and marketers, which was interesting. And 100 people came forward. Teams of people came forward and presented concepts. Upper management it came through like a science fair. And um, I said, I want to bring my concept. So I got together with a fabulous engineer who thinks everything is possible um, with Karen Davis um, and with um, a great, great young, young engineer who happened to be one of my students at, at RISD in the past and um, a graphic designer who's very passionate. Um, we won the People's Choice Award, which was everyone voted for Zambi. And we also, um, Brian Goldner said, yes, I give you my blessing. Go make this happen, Gina. Gina, make this happen. So it's, the rest of the story is very, very long. And it was like birthing an elephant, to be honest with you. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a few. <laughs> there's a few the gestation period is about the same, too, we checked. But um, there's a few amazing things that have happened. Um, we're working with Mary Fisher. I don't know if anyone knows her. She's an AIDS advocate, had done um, the Republican National Convention speech in the early 90s. I am the face of AIDS. Karen says, you know what? She's, um, she's a quilter. She's an artist. She can help you design something. Oh, by the way, when we presented Zambi, he was a life-size baby elephant. OK? But then the economy, well, he's cute. He's cute this size, right? <laughs> More people can join in. Um, so um, I said, yeah, she's, she's, she's a designer, right, OK. 
And then she shows me her quilts, which was so amazing. So the great part about that is we work directly with the kids in Zambia to make fabric. So all the fabric used in Zambia himself, all the artwork, there's a bracelet with all the artwork. Even the packaging assets were generated from those kids working with Mary Fisher right in Africa. So I couldn't travel at the time, but um, we plan on doing a documentary, and um, I get to go. So there is the big elephant that we made that is Patrick from the kids' artwork. Um, it's going to be traveling. We call it the Zambassador. We'll be traveling around, <laughs> and um, hopefully globally. Um, we made it so it fits in a cargo plane. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the width of it. The engineers were brilliant. They said, Gina, it has to be 36 inches wide. I said, why? So it can fit through the doorway. So we have this great big elephant. But then even more importantly, um, part of the, I hate to say it, viral giving aspect of this project, um, we made 25 elephants this side, one of a kind. And this was volunteers from Hasbro. I didn't have to ask anyone. These incredible um, soft good engineers who uh, who never get to really express themselves in this way. They made one of a kind elephants, a um, lot of designers, and we went, we're going to do, we made 25 because it was the 25th anniversary of AIDS at the time. And they are now on auction for 10 days. And we got people you may know sign it, like George Clooney, Susan Sarandon, um, like um, Jonas Brothers. You sort of go, <gasps> Uh, <laughs> uh, Jonas Brothers, et cetera, you, you name it, they signed it. Um, we, we chose celebrity. At first, when they said, Gina, we're going to have celebrity sign, I'm like, wow, that has nothing to do with the authenticity of the project. And they said, Gina, it's only people who have um, funds within those causes. So the African Children's Choir, there's so many amazing um, celebrities who really authentically are involved in this specific cause. Unfortunately, there are many, many organizations because it is so needed. So. Anyway, so I'm actually plugging this. So um, tomorrow I will bring my laptop, and you can I can kind of show you the big elephant and the auction, and um, so that's it. I don't know what else to say. So it's kind of a relief. Helen from Business Week kept talking about the elephant in the room. At first I thought she was talking about me, and I was a little pissed <laughs> off, but then I realized she's probably talking about Zambi. So there you go. Let me. Um, let me ask you about your, your, your day job as it were. Sure. I didn't realize it could be, this is, I mean, you were covered, this is, this is in a way outside your job description, right? I I'm, guess so. That's kind of exciting. What does the lead futurist at Hasbro do when you're not working on these kind of things? Um, we're mostly doing this kind of thing, starting mm. fires, um, instigating um, Hasbro, it's a great time. I've been at Hasbro 25 years wow. um, this next year. And this is a, a time where we're turning to think of um, disruption as not only being acceptable, but expected. Mm -hmm. So we're charged with, with doing that and saying that we're a tiny group. So part of our charter is like, we can't do it all. So is being contagious with innovation. So a lot of times we um, take other developers and designers and marketers and make them part of our team for specific missions. Mm -hmm. And it's really to, in, it's more so to instigate. Um, my mom would be so happy I got a job instigating starting fires. Very good. It's always good at it. That's great. Gina Maloney, thank you so much. That's great. <laughs>